Uh, Keith has got a question uh, about the feed point on the j pole antenna. Is there a reason for the way you connect the feed line to the center conductor on the short stub? Yes, there is. And the reason is, is that it creates a more, the way in which I attach my feed point is, is I'm directly soldering the SO239 connector to the, the metal pipe itself. I'm not using any kind of rivets or straps or anything of that nature. I'm doing direct soldering. And if I solder the edge of that UHF connector onto the longer piece, I think that makes for a more mechanically sound connection than doing it sort of the other way around. And you can do that because actually it doesn't really make a difference if you're feeding into the short part, the matching section part, or if you're feeding into the longer part, because you've got to remember the, the J-pole style antenna is two components. It's the half wave radiator. Uh, and then, and then at the base is the quarter wave matching section. And, um, so the half wave works as a half wave, as any half wave should. The quarter wave part, because there's two parallel segments of it, they kind of, each one is sort of out of phase of, of each other. And by virtue of those sections being two different phases of each other, it doesn't matter how they're fed. If, if, the, if, the, if, if the center, if the feed goes into the short stubby part or if it goes into the long part. Yeah. Um, KE0OG describes the J-pole antenna as a half-wave long wire fed with ladder wire. Mm -hmm. Think of it that way. That matching section is not much different than ladder line, and we find where we get 50 ohms on that. Yep. But whatever way, if you have the center to the long end or to the short end, it doesn't matter. It will perform the exact same way. Exactly. And if I read here, um, let's see. Oh, is this from the Antenna Bible? Yes, it's from Rod Hamill's Antenna oh, Book. Oh, you have that chapter and verse marked. Do you read do. that every morning, your, your morning devotional? <laughs> <laughs> J Antennas, yeah. page. Um, let me see if I can find the line here. And the Lord said. And the Lord said. Uh, in German, by the way. <laughs> yes, of, of course, because the because God sprach in sie Deutsch when yeah. das, and when. Das <laughs> um, let's see if I can find the. Yep, Rod Hamill's antenna book, thirteenth edition, page seven seven seven. The author states that feeding both the short and the long sides of the antenna are electrically equivalent, yet. A configuration where the short side is direct fed provides improved over voltage protection because the half wave section is directly grounded via the outer cable conductor. So parenthetically, this method also helps um, reduce overall noise floors of the antennas by dissipating static to ground. Mm -hmm. So there are, there are benefits as, as quoted by the antenna book here by Rotamel. For so saith the shepherd. <laughs> so saith the Michael. Yes. <laughs> you got the incense burner? <laughs> <I should. laughs> we'll light some capacitors. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It's like midnight mass all over again. Yeah. <laughs> KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.